Hey what's up guys Rajat from VFX World welcome back to my channel hope you guys are doing absolutely fine this is Silver Effects rotoscoping masterclasses in this video i'll describe all about cloth roto so let's get started Okay guys, uh, the previous five videos are awesome response I get from you guys. Thank you so very much for this response. And if you're still not subscribed, subscribe to VFX World. And this video, as I told, always sponsored by Boris FX. All links are in description box below. Go and check it out. In fact, we have attached our social media handles because I posted all the updates for my upcoming videos and many more things on the social media handles. So follow us over there first. Okay, so the last video based on Motion Blur Roto over there, I talked about swapping method. Like if you don't find any specific frame then to start how to start and all how to match how to deal with a weird motion blur i talked about that that's process called swapping if you still not watch that video you can go to our channel the last video link is in description box below or else you can click on this i button to check out that video otherwise you you can't understand this video pretty well okay so to start with the footage first of all just play the footage for to check this is our footage and uh, we have a lot of other movements lot of details here and obviously this is not an easy shot Short. this will take a lot of time to start doing rotos and all and in fact for the beginners you guys will get confused that where should you start the roto yes so first of all in the cloth roto on this kind of shots if you have like normal character which is wearing a cloth and they're walking and all this kind of shots you can track also but on this types of shot you can't track in fact you have to judge that where you have to start so basically we are trying to do for the very first frame or you can start with very last frame or else you can take any frames okay so after that so let's start with doing the very first frame so just take a b on a keyboard take a new layer here and uh, if i draw a shape for this one just like this and uh, it will become something here that's it so okay make the shape i'm just doing it very roughly you can take your own time and make it just like this okay so in cloth roto we don't have any specific uh, like rules like motion blur you have to make the middle edge like defocus and on all like hair roto we have all the roto stops have the specific rules but in the cloth roto we don't have any specific rules we just have to maintain the motion blur rules so as i make the shape here this this area is pretty hard so that's why i made the shape on this area this area the shape should be in the middle edge because there is a motion blurs and all and that's it now as i told on my last video your motion blur is based on previous frame and the next frame so if you don't animate the previous and next frame it will not come the motion blur on the very basic like middle frame so here if you draw in the 50th number frame the motion blur here just press t on your keyboard if you just move forward you have your frame to draw but you don't have any frame on previous like before 50 we don't have any frame to draw so how you can deal with that so let's a very very basic sort out plan here just select this 50 and just type it 49 so now you have have one blank space behind of this 50 number frame that is called a dummy frame or just like a blank frame something like that so if you go back on the keyframe there is no footage only this footage you can see this footage is just static over here so it means on this frame range like in this blank area you can do whatever then you just render it without this frame range and you can get your output so I have just animate with this one here so first of all on this kind of shot to get a motion blur let me show you this first that this area have a motion blur this area is very low and sharp and this area again motion blur and this area is very sharp so what i'll do here i'll do some tricky parts which is a cheating kind of thing so I select this kind of vertices here just like this press t on your keyboard and t again to select only this much now i will just go forward here so then one two three four five six pixel here and from just like this blank frame like in dummy frame one two three four five six okay now select here then just press shift a and a again to check your alpha and then turn on your motion blur from this layer and go down on this motion blur panel and then just turn on this motion blur so now you are getting the motion blur if you notice i just changed this vertices so that's why this area of motion blur is coming up here so just press a on your keyboard and a again now you can check out only this much area is coming motion blur now now if you notice it's hard edge is here outer edge is here just press a again if you notice the outer edge is also pretty uh, like outside and the uh, inner edge also cutting like hard edge is also cutting so what you have to do select this all keyframes like uh, sorry the vertices just select like this go back on this and just one two three and just after that you can check out see it is now almost fixed here and i need to tweak some more, more like so just one two three just like this so now it's getting fixed and just make the shapes 
pretty here that's it so now it's getting fixing and here also i just have to now see this vertex is going very back so just make it here and if you check here like this see this is completely fixed on this area i don't need to change anything but i'll change because there are some motion blur is there so just go on this frame one pixel here and on this frame one pixel here so you can find out bit very bit motion blur on this specific frame range now select on this keyframe range for this area what you have to do on this keyframe range just one two three four five and on the dummy frame range one two three four five and now if you check, you can find out your motion blur. Now this area, this vertex should be go bit down here. And if you check, see the motion blur is coming up like this. Now select the motion blur vertices and just have to go down it bit like this so that it will not be cutting. Yes, that's it. And this area also, you have to make some bit changes here. And I'm just making it just like this. Okay, so in this age, you can exactly find out how you can make this kind of weird motion blur kind of thing. And you can adjust it. I'm just doing it very roughly. Then just press T here. And on this keyframe, you don't need anything. Just select and make it to 50 back again. So now you have your motion blur, but you don't have that frame. Okay, so now go back to your normal like 51 number frame. And now on this frame, you don't need the shape. So just turn it off, just pressing this opacity one and go back. If you notice, this is means like opacity zero. So go back on this keyframe range and then just turn on the opacity again. So that means 100% and then just zero. So if you notice 100% and then zero, the shape is getting hide. So now in this keyframe, if you notice the motion blur and the shape is completely different. So how you can deal with that same process, but you have to make shapes and other shapes just like this. I'm just making a shape for this one, just like that. I'm doing again very roughly guys. So don't quote me or judge me on that and then make a shape on something like that. I'll just show you the technique so that you can start working for your demo reels and on. I, and I hope, in fact, I'm pretty sure after completing all this master classes, you can create your own demo reel. So if you have any queries, please let me know. Now select this area. Okay, so to get the motion bar on this area, like this area's motion bar is on this direction. So what you have to do, select this vertices and go like this keyframe or this keyframe. So I'm going to this 50th number keyframe, press double T and just move it here like this and on this 52 number keyframe just move it down like this now press shift a and just turn on the motion blur so now you can see it's coming up like this now the motion blur is pretty high here so what i have to do just in the frame range i'm just making it to like this so now check the motion blur is coming up here in fact we have to just increase the shape on this area as well now see it's coming really well now on this area also you have to make some motion blur changes here so just this frame one two three four and this frame one two three and then see no, it's, it's pretty high so what i have to do just one two and down and now check yes this is completely matched on this area also just press t on your keyboard and one two three and on this area one two three and again check with your motion blur see it start getting matching this area should be go inside and in this way, you can exactly do all the rotoscoping stuffs and all. So guys, I know this process is very lengthy and also you have to change the frame on each and every frames. Yes, guys, this is called swapping method. And you know, and trust me, guys, many times we get some shots where you have to do all the frames swapping. So this is the process of cloth roto, but if you get a normal cloth, you can exactly do it by taking some tracking, normal motion blur, and also some normal manual tracking uh, roto. So this is it guys for today. I hope you really enjoyed this advanced level cloth rotoscoping technique from this module. And if you really like this video, then please subscribe, comment, and share, and make sure you have to follow us on our social media handles like Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, and Twitter, and make sure to check it out Boris FX website. See you next time with more amazing content. Till then, have fun, keep watching VFX World.